Hello everyone and welcome back to another Should You Buy video. Now this video is going to be coming out side by side with some additional gameplay of the Wieswagen Jag Panther, which will be linked up in a card as well as in the description. So if you'd like to see some more gameplay of this vehicle than just what's in the background, go ahead and take a look at that once the video is over. But the main thing that I want to get through about this tank, this is going to be a pretty short video because this tank is completely identical to the standard Yag Panther, aside from the Zimrit paste, which is completely useless. It doesn't do anything except make the tank look a little bit different. Honestly, to me, it looks ugly with it on. Maybe you like it, but anyways, we'll hop into the pros and cons of this vehicle, but just keep in mind, this is basically just the pros and cons of the Yag Panther, so let's hop into them. Now the pros of this vehicle are it has one of the best anti-tank guns in the game. The Long 88 is incredibly powerful and can deal with anything that you face with the exception of maybe some of the super heavies if you try to up tier this thing, but it really doesn't have many issues. It also has very good speed and maneuverability and it has decent frontal armor if you use it well. I recommend using it on a ridge line if you can use the gun depression just to increase that angle and hide your lower plate. And the cons of this vehicle, these are some pretty strong cons, at least in my opinion. Now, when you're in an up tier with this thing, and it's similar with a lot of vehicles, but its combat capacity is horrendous. You basically go from a decent tank to a glorified glass cannon. It's still usable, but it's not very enjoyable. It has this really bad reverse speed of all the other panthers because it's just a Yag Panther, and that will get you killed a lot when you try to reverse or you have to try to turn all the way around and then you get shot in the butt. And it is an extremely expensive premium at 6,090 Golden Eagles or around 32 US dollars. That is a lot of money for what this thing is. So I'd have to give this thing a 2 out of 10. This is probably one of the least recommended premiums that I would say to get. I'd recommend just put a talisman on the regular Yag Panther if you really, really like the Yag Panther and want to grind with it. You're only going to spend about 1,800 Golden Eagles or about 12 bucks. That's less than 30% the price. Although it only provides RP and doesn't provide extra silver, it's just the better way to go. I'd much more recommend doing that than getting this vehicle, but if you can pick it up on a sale, it might be worth it. That's entirely up to you. I can't decide that. So let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and be sure to check out the additional gameplay if you'd like to see some more. I will see you in the next one.